There is an entire DAO, a bunch of strangers, millions of them, are you millions right? of people around the world are all going to come together. They're going to try to create a DAO and they are going to try to buy the U.S. Constitution starting this week. A DAO, a decentralized autonomous organization is being formed. It's called the Constitution DAO. They've registered with Sotheby's and they've already gone through all of the KYC measures that they need to in order to pull funds and make a run at winning the auction for one of the copies of the U.S. Constitution that is going to be auctioned off later this week. Now, this DAO has already raised a pretty significant amount of money, but why exactly do they need to have the DAO? The DAO, why is it a DAO? Decentralization and cryptocurrency, Web3, have created structures that allow people to self-govern with unparalleled levels of autonomy and freedom. It's fitting that we use this technology to honor and protect the greatest historical tool for human governance, the U.S., constitution. So decentralized, they're trying to self-govern and they are trying to go and make a run at buying the U.S. Constitution. Now, out of their frequently asked questions, two specific things that I thought most people would be interested in. One, what's going on? They're buying the U.S. Constitution. They're attempting to buy. For the first time in 33 years, one of the 11 surri surviving copies of the official edition from the Constitutional Convention will be publicly auctioned by Sotheby's. It is the only copy that is still owned by private collectors. The proceeds from the auction will be given to a charity that has been established by the current owner. The Constitution Dow is pulling together money to win the auction. They intend to put the Constitution in the hands of the people. What will happen to the Constitution? Constitution Dow seeking an esteemed, esteemed partner to display the Constitution. The eventual home must have the expertise to properly house, store, and maintain this artifact. Additionally, the community has expressed strong preferences for institutions that are free to the public and willing to cover the costs associated associated with housing the document. So yesterday, Packy McCormick, he wrote a piece on this. And at that time, he said, it's not a move. It's not a moment. It's a movement. And he said that 8,000 people were already in the Discord, 3 million committed in 12 hours, 10 plus million dollars in soft commits, and the auction house on Thursday night ready to rock and roll. Are they going to be able to get it or not? Well, they have about 26% of their goal already achieved. They're trying to raise $20 million to do this. They've got over $5 million already raised. They're going to take a run at it. Now, a couple of thoughts. One, I love the idea of the people, right? I put that in air quotes, however you want to think about that, going and actually buying a addition of the Constitution, and then using a democratically uh, kind of driven process to figure out where should we put it. It should be available to anybody. It should be free. And also, there should be an ability for anyone in the world to show up and actually see it and learn about what the Constitution is all about. Second is that the whole concept of being able to very quickly pool funds, etc. There's risk. There's all sorts of legal questions that go into this. I don't want to get into any of that. I'm not an expert on it. That's all going to get figured out by other people. But I do think that it's very interesting that Sotheby's has already gone ahead and gotten them through that KYC process. So that's one step towards what their ultimate goal is. If they are able to pull this off, I think that it would be very, very interesting. This would be kind of a warning shot to the rest of the world. Wait a minute. What the hell is going on with these things?